Uh, good morning, everyone. I'm Masato Mori from Japan. Uh, I'm doing cultural geography, particularly focusing on materiality of nationhood and nationalism. And today I'm talking about after the disaster, what happened in Japanese nationhood. And this morning I experienced a disaster in my room because uh, my toilet didn't splash the water. But uh, yesterday was a special day because just 1,000 days before uh, the earthquake happened. And today is also a special day because uh, just 1,000 days before ago, the radiation and uh, nuclear power plant exploded. So on March 11, 2011, uh, Northeast Japan experienced a huge shake of earthquake. More than 15,000 people were killed by the earthquake and the subsequent tsunami, and more than 2,600 people are still missing. The disaster left huge damage and the restoration and the reconstruction of the city became a national project. Solidarity of Japanese citizens and nation was officially advocated by the Japanese government. The governmental TV commercial programs showed popular figures and pop star with an affirmation of Japanese as a strong nation and strong citizens. However, critical situation even after tsunami which Japan has never experienced, in fact, has undermined the solidarity of citizenship and nationhood. That is the radiation leakage from Fukushima. Damaged by the earthquake and the tsunami, nuclear power plant, uh, nuclear fuel in the radiator number one in Fukushima, uh, first of nuclear power plant built in 1971, started meltdown on 11th of March and the next day witnessed the explosion that branched out radiation. An electric power company, Tokyo Energy Power Company, called TEPCO, and the Japanese government still cannot deal with meltdown radiation leakage into air and seawater, as you know. It is given a testimony by a refugee of Fukushima who was carrying elderly people or disabled to escape from a nursing home that he heard the explosion, sound of explosion, and saw black dust coming down from the sky like snow. The snow stuck on his body and he realized, he realized his life end. German sociologist, as you mentioned yesterday, Ulrich Beck described risk society as involving all nations to be affected by potential risk. The risk comes from the second nature, which has created by modern technology. The radiation issue or problem in Fukushima, or say Japan, clearly shows our life in the risk society. Back after Fukushima, again, discussed the unknown paradox, which means when risk is getting higher, regime of unknownness is also broadened and particularly uh, Particular decision making is inevitable but impossible. No experts say that uh, how radiation affects human health so far. The unknownness causes, therefore, an emotional conflict, conflict between people who say it is safe and people who say this is very dangerous. The emotional conflict for, say, the justice for the risk has been constituted by geography of disaster after Fukushima in Japan. A couple of years ago, published a paper on GeoForum to address how in invisible social risk of environmental pollution was visualized and socialized by the particular power of knowledge in the 1960s Japan. My discussion today is on Fukushima will be connected with that paper, but further broadened through the idea of belonging, race, gendering, and materiality. <clears throat> My friend in UK and I are now applying for the grant to examine how the irradiated body is managed in wider Japanese society, and how ordinary pe Japanese people are insulating themselves, not just from radioactive materials, 
but also from radioactive <coughs> people. Post-war Japan has created a special illusion of mono race and mono ethnic group. The concept of the homogeneity of Japanese nation, <coughs> however, have sometimes been undermined by unexpected disaster. For example, in terms of radiation, <coughs> sorry, <coughs> in radiated people in Hiroshima and uh, Nagasaki was discriminated as second nation or sec second people. So many people said you, do, you shouldn't deliver baby because you will make second class nation at that time. <clears throat> this paper uh, discusses mobility and immobility of people and contaminated things to discuss how the geography of mobility have involved the special politics of belonging and affect employing a qualitative method, particularly discourse analysis from collected archives and news articles, and also I conducted the interviews. I, <clears throat> I conducted an interview with four people who played a significant role in Fukushima, or a neighborhood in Fukushima, uh, last September. Non-human disaster and invisible risk and regime of unknownness revealed the actual instability of Japanese solidarity and the homogeneity of Japaneseness in many scale. After the disaster, people in the irradiated areas evacuated to other areas inside and outside Fukushima prefectures. Some people decided not to return to Fukushima, gave up homeland who can afford to pay for accommodation or even buy new house outside Fukushima. Other, while others still remain in Fukushima, some people decided to move out has been recognized as betrayers because they escaped. In addition, at a national scale and northeast scale, Fukushima people and things from Fukushima have been stigmatized as irradiated, irradiated ones and became an object of prejudice. The new geography of belonging and citizenship after Fukushima has been reformed by compensation systems and an anxiety for losing um, vested right. It sounds strange, a little bit strange, that Japan became to keep 40, 54 nuclear power plants on the coastline and even export <coughs> nuke, considering the fact that Japan was a victim of atomic bomb. Actually, Japanese people had been happy to import technology of managing nuclear power and install plants in the 1950s from US. In Japanese vocabulary, the word genshiryoku, it means atomic power, and kaku, it's nuclear, are used in different stages in everyday life. And the US post-war uh, propaganda, atomic for peace, genshiryoku, it means peace and clean energy, good for nation, embedded in, embedded in daily life. While kaku, nuclear power, is used to mean weapon in, ex in exceptional situation. Atomic power meant a great future and modern society of Japan, and that notion spread among Japanese nations through special exhibition of atomic for peace in the middle 1950s, as I've shown. Atomic power became a symbol of modern technology and appreciated through particular icons such as Astro Boy, Godzilla, Cartoon Heroes. Nuclear power plants were driven, driving force to unite Japanese nationhood and citizenship in 1960s. Not only such a cultural discursive strategy, but also financial strategy. Japanese power company and government got success to build up plants in poor marginal villages, boosted by three laws issued in 1974, 
which grants local town and prefectures that accept the power plant uh, special budget. Fukushima first nuclear power plant opened in 1971 and the second power plant in 1982. It sounds strange that Fukushima is outside of the area which TEPCO supplies energy. Fukushima is here, and TEPCO's area is here. Local city became rich as they received special money from TEPCO and Japanese government, and have developed a special labor market around plants. So many people are employed by the TEPCO. Fukushima Prefecture has been also benefited from TEPCO, such as a large sports center, J Village. Many locals were tamed by particular capitalism, post capitalist power, which has constructed through energy and power sponsored by the Japanese government. Soon after the explosion, Japanese government did say radiation did not spread out and it is safe. So many area is, so, but they knew the leakage of radiation going down to the south. The Ministry of Education knew that cesium, an element of radium, radiation, reached to Shizuoka Prefecture through Tokyo after three days of explosion. The government drew a 20 kilometer circle and moved people, removed people from area in the circle to the neighbor, neighboring city on sec, uh, 22nd of March. In total, 78,000 people moved out from the inside of the circle. However, this de decision did not secure people's health because of hotspot or about radiation appeared outside the circle along Atatara mountain. The government, so, sorry, the government drew a new zone of systematic evacuating district outside the 20, 20 kilometer circle, circle, which was contaminated by the leakage uh, radiation on the 22nd of April, a month later. Resident in Idate village, Kuzuo village, Namie town, some area of Kawamata town, and some of Minami South Soma city were ordered to evacuate. I, uh, I undertook the interview with men who from Idate village and Yama, uh, Yamaki, Yamakiya neighborhood in Kawamata town. Pro-government pro, pro expert visited Iida village Ida, <coughs> to persuade village it is safe at that time. However, Kanno, an interviewee who retired from local government, says that as a Geiger counter had shown a rapid growth of radiation on 15th of March, he and younger villages villagers who keep kids decided to move out from the village while evacuation program ended up in the beginning of, of August of, of 1911, no, no, 2011. Now nearly 30% of the villages, villagers live in shelter house, 10% moved out from Fukushima, and the rest has been scattered in Fukushima prefecture. As the government prohibited to live in Idati village, and some companies, uh, and some companies in the village are still active, people are driving car for more than one hour to work and go home every day. Also, it was difficult to move senior out. More than 80 senior live in a nursing home, which is located beside town hall, showing a high level of radiation still. TEPCO announced a payment of compensation to refugees from the evacuation zone and special division of payment caused a conflict between citizens in many geogra geographical scale. 
Until December of 2011, compensation was paid for only for refugees from evacuation zone, shown in, shown in yellow. The rest area in blue in Fukushima Prefecture received only one time compensation after the December. Evacuating people still continually, while, sorry, while evacuating people still continue to receive monthly compensation. Therefore, it is said that among residents in neighboring cities and town in Fukushima Prefecture, which accepted refugee, they are discontent with inequality of payment and situation. For example, an article of Mainichi newspaper on 24th of March in 2013, delivers a strong complaint of people in Iwaki City. Iwaki City accepts lots of refugee people, uh, evacuating people, which, uh, <coughs> ah, sorry. There are rumors that evacuating people become rich and living in luxury with compensation. They don't need to work while Iwaki City's residents work very hard. A comment of mayor of Iwaki City said to media that, quote, there are refugees who receive compensation and do not work while people in my city receive small amount of compensation and work very hard. Particularly pachinko para, it means Japanese gambling shop, is always full. That implies that refugee people, uh, that means uh, the compensation to lazy evacuating people is used for the leisure activity, and that reinforces the citizens' sense of complaint. Hate emotion to evacuating people has also been driven by a sense of social disorder. A scribble on the wall saying original resident cannot do what they, we want to do was found in the city, and the city received an email from a citizen or a resident saying, quote, after they came to our city, traffic manner got worse, Lord. Traffic, tra tra traffic manner got worse. They use infrastructure such as hospital as much as possible without paying tax. We paying tax, we are paying tax and can, we are very affected. They built a new house, still registering themselves in old place and do not join the local com community and neighborhood. There are lots of bad reputation of the refugees. Even among these refugee people or evacuating people, complaint, uh, complaints can be found. An interview of Yamakita, Yamakiya district or neighborhood in Kawamata Cho pointed out, sorry, interviewee of Yamakita district in Kawamata Cho pointed out that uh, because compensation was paid to each person, family consists of many number, many member can receive much money monthly than others, and also paid to number of things at home. The number of family member and possession create a gap of wealth between refugees or evacuating people. And the interviewee was said, you are lucky because you will have 10 people as a family member, or you keep many things to be compensated at home. Social division of citizen and neighbor uh, nationhood was found even at a national scale. Many mass media delivered the testimony of people from Fukushima that when people in other prefectures saw cars or automobiles with Fukushima's number plate, they tended not to cross to the car, and even they took a photo of the car. It is not sure whether it is actually true or not, but true, people from Fukushima have felt mental dis distance somehow from normal Japanese nation. Prejudice to Fukushima has been strengthened through non-human things, particularly debris, rubbish, 
and used nuclear fuels. Controversy over acceptance of irradiated things exemplify it. The government asked local authority to discuss of irradiated discuss sorry. The government asked local authority to discuss a possibility to accept the debris from our rubbish, not only Fukushima but also northeast with a huge budget incentive. Rubbish from the earthquake has been accepted, but it has been difficult to find a place which allowed to build a special facility to save contaminated soil, leave, leaves, and rubbish because of anxiety for the radioactive. As I will explain later, November 2013, I think uh, one week ago, the government did declare to nationalize the area or land within 15 kilometer circle from the first nuclear plant, probably to build the facility to store the contaminated rubbish and use the nuclear fuels. The public hate emotion to the radioactive and uh, radioactive things was dramatically shown by a controversy over a piece of pine wood from the northeast. In 19, uh, 2012, Kyoto City decided to burn pine, pine wood from Rikuzen Takada City, which is famous for pine forest scenery, to pray for to pray for spirits of victim of the disaster in summer festival as a ritual. Although there is no evidence of contamination from the pine woods, strong voice of anxiety for indirect irradiation, the project was canceled. Later on, the city again brought the pine logs from Rikuzen Takaza city because other people said the cancellation would uh, remakes but rule more and prejudice to the northeast. This time, cesium was found from the logs and the project was again cancelled. These controversies mean that things give a material base of invisible social risk of radiation and create a particular effect of hate to the contaminated. Also today, I and also, today I shan't talk about it, but uh, politics over ethical consumption is interesting. Conservative people encourage nation to buy local product of Fukushima to support local economy, local farmer, using logic of nation food. We are same Japanese, so we have to buy the food from Fukushima, while some upper class upper middle class wives try to buy uncontaminated products from special company which examines the radiation every, food, every day. Um, <laughs> After the explosion, the government promised evacuated people to remove all radiation to make them return home, set up, setting up the food kosho Restoration Agency in December 2011 and formed a huge budget for the restoration of the city. The budget has been used only for project using the word of Fuko, restoration and reconstruction, not for project using the term Hoyo, it means leisure, healing and relaxing. With that brings children out from risky area to give a leisure activity. An interviewee who organized the Hoyo project, leisure project, or healing project for parents and kids launched the project after she joined the, the other Hoyo project in Kyoto. Her project has been granted by cooperative, not by local authority and the government. The verbal power of this deconstruction and this restoration of the city make people to remain in Fukushima, reduce the number of people moving out from the, there. The government tried to secure the local economy, stimulating a sense of attachment to the homeland of Fukushima. This is the reason the evacuating people still 
leave their registration form in the old place because the government promised to remove radiation and return them to the town and villages in five years. However, not all people believe the project. For example, in an, the interviewee of Idate, thank you, Idate villages says, I want to go back there if possible, but considering the situation, it, sorry, considering the situation, it is impossible. Young people who have children resign to go back as well. Yet, the government still says that you can go home in three years. If it is Im impossible, they should say it is impossible. He launched the association to deliver information of the village and the villages, villagers through newsletter and website, but also said my emotional attachment to the to the village has gradually been weakened. Evacuating villagers should give up their illusion of returning and settle down, returning to the homeland and settle down in the new place. In November 2013, the government declared the nationalization of the land within 15 kilometer circle from the plant, while it has, has said that people could return there particularly because it is difficult, too difficult to f remove radiation and also government need to land, needs the land to storage the contaminated things and fuels. The decision was pronounced without any information in advance and it compelled people to, to give up their wish of returning. The returning project also reforms a sense of unity of local and neighborhood. August of 2013, the government reformed evacuating zone and some area of Yamakita neighborhood was designated as area waiting for cancellation of evacuation. The man of neighborhood to, to which is uh, expected to return feel sorry for the people who still cannot go back. In addition, he said, I have to apologize to people who live near to us but cannot escape from there as the area was not designated as evacuation area. However, I have no idea how I can apologize. Mobility and immobility in particular political decision disconnect neighborhood as well as strengthen the, uh, the attachment to the place. Although the government has pro promoted the restoration project, many things including the construction of neighborhood and citizenship have been handled by their own responsibility. Particularly, the removing radiation, which is most important to complete the returning project has been undertaken by TEPCO and the local government, not by the government. There, there are a lot of agents which employ workers and even recruit volunteers in the, in, in the radiation, irradiation project. The situation of not having established a trade union until the end of 2012 enabled agents to exploit workers and their health. It is not sure how many workers have irradiated and even died, as it has not been it, it has been closed. However, it is important to point out that tight relationship between disaster and the regime of neoliberalism. In particular, workers come from a particular class or particular place in Fukushima is now working as a worker. Uh, what is working in nuclear power plant, then they have very um, potential risk. Today I focused on mobility and immobility of people and things to discuss how the geography of mobility have involved, involved special politics of belonging and affect. Sense of citizenship and nationhood of Japaneseness have been reformed by non-human environment particularly invisible things, and even strengthened and weakened in specific 
space social context. The politics of attachment and emotion are performed at various scales, from village and city to the, to the national scale. And justice performed in the city and town after disaster is a subject of special politics. Thank you. Actually, creates their own geographies, right? Yes. Geography, right? Yeah. So, uh, I, I'm, I, I mean, I'm, I was also thinking in terms of different geographies right. of the people who were, who were, who were evacuated, who were, who were affected by who still had lived there, who who who, uh, uh, who had to kind of like uh, uh, meet with them. Because when you when I mean you you organize this around categories, which is one way to organize, right? I mean, right. Fantastic as it sounds, you know. I'm, I'm not, uh, but but at, at the same time, I'm also thinking like you were talking about this pine wood, right? I mean, this, right. this pine wood, sure. and and some people want to kind of like burn them for 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 for, for ritual for, for ritualistic purposes, and then the other people are very skeptical about right. it. Right. And and then you know like I mean, in some ways we we can use a measure, right? Uh, I mean, if you use a Geiger counter or whatever and says you know there's radiation, I wouldn't go there. But the thing is. As you say, you know, like there are some people who really doesn't care because you know, like I mean, uh, because their attachment and, and their, their, I mean, how other people react to them mm. is much larger. Mm. Therefore, you know, like I mean, who cares about this? You know, I don't want to live here. You know, mm. I mean, this is more hell than some other place. So I think, I, I think, I think, I think, in a, in a different sense for me, you know, like I'm also seeing different geographies of people kind of like, uh, who are hit by the uh, uh, this disaster, who are evacuated, who are not evacuated. Who are now being affected by the other people being evacuated near them? Mm. So I mean, all these different geographies, if you will, and, yes. and how they are being being uh, uh, I don't know uh, they, they come together or they contradict or, or, or whatever. It's you know, great. If you if you want to respond, you can respond. But I mean, I'm, I'm just saying. <laughs> 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 Yeah, today I didn't talk about, but for example, the women is many people. Some experts said women shouldn't women from Fukushima shouldn't deliver baby oh, yeah, be, right. uh, because they are radioactive body, and also people don't like to talk about radiation now because it, they know it's make a conflict. Mm -hmm. So the geography is always constituting. Geography is always constituted through daily life, and they they invented a new strategy, not to make a conflict. And, and, and the whole thing about the nation, you know, like I mean, these are you know, it's a homogeneous nation. These are the people of the same nation. Mm. Now you, but you shouldn't come near me, you know. <laughs> it's very difficult to give you an answer. But, but um, <clears throat> for example, uh, Japanese school uh, provides to children. Uh, School dinner every for every day every day lunch, and normally we have only one choice. So if school said this this is a lunch, so you you have to eat. And we have another choice to bring our own packed lunch, but it, decision is uh, decision is what is made by the uh, head teacher. So head teacher said you you shouldn't bring your packed lunch. We have to eat up. And uh, some area is uh, now examining the radiation. But many local said, uh, for, uh, for example, in Fukushima, uh, Fukushima school said, this is products of Fukushima. We have to support our local economy. <laughs> so you have to eat. <laughs> That's happening now. So every day, uh, so as, as you said, many scales of, many scales of geography is now constituted. Uh, through daily life, to, from daily life to national scale. So we have to be attentive to what happening in at each level or so each scale. Hmm. We do have time for one or two questions. Mark. So I like the way you talked about the atomic power and the nuclear 
power differentiation, I wasn't so interested in that reflection about the past as the victim of U.S. bombs mm. and uh, kind of reclaiming that ground by having a lot of nuclear power in that kind of psychoanalytic relationship. But do you, how does this dynamic between daily life and, and these mobilities link up with anti-nuclear movement? Nuclear movement. Yeah. Uh -huh. Is there any chance that Japan would be non-nuclear after this? I think many Japanese people can give you answer. But after the disaster, uh, many strike campaign happened to uh, saying we don't need nuclear power. But now it is very difficult to find out what the, uh, the strike is, more movement is happening because. After two, year, uh, two years later, many people want to forget about that. But also, um, as I said uh, this morning, uh, many environmental movement, uh, the people who engage in environmental movement invite the expert from Chernobyl. And the expert said, what, is happen what, will happening? what will be happening after five years, 10 years? And in Kyoto, uh, which, which is quite located from, uh, quite distant from Fukushima, gathers many audience because they want to know what is happening. And, but P, uh, in, in Tokyo or Fukushima, not so many people are coming because they don't like to know what, what will happen. Uh, so th in that case, uh, environmental movement is failing in Tokyo, but uh, they are successing in Kyoto or something like that. A lot of the young people involved in the movement have moved towards anti-fascist organizing because there's been such a rise of anti-migrant sentiment, and it's sort of and, and a, a lot of right-wing action on the street, like extreme right. And I wondered if, like, in terms of how you're seeing this kind of affect relationship, do you think that some of that is that a con continuation from what was happening before, or is it? Do you think that there's an effect of actually what happened in Fukushima that's creating that upsurge as well? Um, oh. Can I give you an answer later? <laughs> in the tea time, so I have to think about it. Yeah. Sure. But yeah, thank you very much. Thank you very much. Uh, thank you.